Bear guns in America might have languished forever had it not been for a birthday gift to an eight-year-old Robert Beeman. It was a Daisy air rifle, the most successful air gun developed in America. Daisy has been that name, that brand that most everybody starts shooting with. It all goes back to the Plymouth Iron Windmill Company. A fellow named Hamilton had been playing around with air rifles. There were several companies that were making spring air BB guns, and uh, he was making his own. He had one of them. He took it to one of the board members of the Plymouth Iron Windmill Company, knowing that, hey, we kind of need a shot in the arm for selling windmills. And he came up to Cass Huff and said, Mr. Huff, try this out. Mr. Huff looks at it. Hey, that's kind of neat. He pulls the arm back, which, which compresses the, the spring and the air plunger. He said, well, isn't that a daisy? The name stuck. Daisies were ubiquitous throughout much of American history, introducing generations of young men and women into the shooting culture. The early days of Daisy. Uh, there's really no better tool, I think, for teaching uh, marksmanship fundamentals. And there's there's a resurgence in air guns today, and that is because there are fewer and fewer places to shoot. You know, you start to get that evolution into the toy. Um, you get the Daisy Model 25, you get the, the Red Rider, you get that kind of toy. And so you've got this firearm with a long history and much longer as something that is great technological advancement in firearms history. And then you've got it as the toy. And it's amazing to me how the toy is the shorter history, but it's what we remember because it's in recent memory. You started to see more and more uh, firearms, um, air guns, uh, BB guns, replica guns, water guns, whatever it might be, marketed specifically to children who wanted to make sure that they had the new Lone Ranger gun, that they had the Red Rider BB gun. So you really saw, especially in the 1940s, 1950s, and 1960s, when television took all of this to a new extreme, more and more kids that really wanted to buy the guns that their heroes carried. Since then, the adult air rifle market has boomed. Initially, the guns focused on their amazing accuracy potential. But technological advances have brought the air rifle back to where it began, a powerful hunting weapon. Big bore air rifles are once again being used to take not only squirrels and rabbits, but bigger game as well. The next step in air gun technology are these amazingly realistic high-powered versions from Sig Sauer. They look, weigh, feel, and operate exactly the same as the cartridge firearms, and they're so sophisticated they can be used to run two-gun competitions in your backyard. What's getting really big now are like the airsoft guns or the BB pellet guns that are replicas of, you know, tactical weapons, pistols, things like that. That is selling like hotcakes. People want a, a toy that looks like the real thing. So you have more and more folks going to air guns for practice and just for fun, past elimination. But uh, air guns are, are a coming thing. If you look at uh, guns such as the Air Force and the Hot Sun, there are some serious, serious hunting guns now. SIG's air rifle version of their flagship MCX carbine uses a sophisticated belt-fed mechanism built into the gun's magazine. Power comes from a CO2 cartridge in the stock. The air rifle uh, world has really grown in the past several years. People are really expanding uh, the uh, pressures that can that can be kept inside of the of an air tank or CO2 cartridge. A subset of the technology, airsoft, appeared in Japan in the early 1980s and took off. Because firearms are banned in Japan, companies there created extremely accurate BB firing air guns for target shooting.
Frankly, I shoot several thousand rounds a year in my basement. I can't do that with a rifle, but I can do it with an air gun. I mean, to me, airsoft is great. The guns are extremely uh, uh, accurate. I mean, the Japanese manufacturers just really capture every nuance of the actual weapon. And you can train yourself very efficiently, very economically uh, with an airsoft pistol. The only problem is you leave all these little peas all over the house. <laughs> Someone never really matured, did he? <laughs> Opportunities for walking the fields with a firearm for a casual afternoon of planking or target shooting have unfortunately drastically declined. But air guns have opened that door for a whole new generation. And what could be a better way of spending a summer afternoon? I'm Joe Montaigne, and this is Gun Stories.